Dobre Rano, and welcome to my Instagram takeover, everyone. My name is Megan Noonan. I am an ITA alum from San Diego, California, and I'm coming to you live from Prague in the Czech Republic. Today, I'm going to take you to my classroom, show you what living inside a fairy tale is actually like, and answer a lot of your questions about teaching and living abroad, and maybe teach you a little bit of Czech along the way. So come on, let's go. So a little bit more about me, I actually originally enrolled in the ITA online course and then ended up taking it at the Language House here in Prague because I knew I wanted to move here anyways. I teach 21 classes a week, mostly in Prague, but on Tuesdays I go to Baron, so we will be taking the train. Hey guys, and welcome to one of my classrooms here at my main job, Jazykova Škola Hane Vavrečkove. Jazykova Škola in Czech means language school, and this is where I teach 10 out of my 21 classes. This was actually the first job that I interviewed for and was recommended to me by another ITA alum as she was leaving the position. I was super nervous to interview because this was my first teaching job and I did not major in education. I completed my TEFL program in June and applied for this job and interviewed the Monday following the program and I really feel like the program helped me prepare with the practicum, the actual teaching real life students as well as a lot of the grammar class. A lot of the techniques that really helped me get this job are things that I learned from TEFL, ways to engage students of every level and every age and I don't know that I would have gotten the job without it. I also had to take a grammar test, so all those hours of studying grammar during my month-long course definitely paid off, so study your grammar. As a native speaker, we know when things are wrong, but we might not know the rules, and a lot of my students really want to learn those things. And of course, at the lower levels, they just want to have fun and learn the language. A lot of other job resources that are available as an ITA alum are Facebook events, putting you in contact with employers, job boards, just all part of their lifelong job assistance program, which is applicable anywhere you want to live and teach in the world. A main part of getting a job here in the Czech Republic is having the proper visa. Here you need to have a freelance visa so that you're able to invoice your employers. ITA also helped me out with that program through a business called Visa Guru. Without visa assistance, honestly, I think I would have been a lot more stressed out than I was. There are a lot of different steps, a lot of which you can complete from home, but it helps to have someone who knows what they're doing. One of the more common questions that I get, especially from my Czech students, is, Megan, if you lived in San Diego, why would you move to the Czech Republic? I majored in marketing in college, and afterwards, all that I wanted to do was live in California. I moved there and lived there for four incredible years, and it was absolutely paradise. Yet when I finally got a really good marketing job, I didn't quite feel fulfilled. As stereotypical as it sounds, I really felt disconnected from people and I knew that I wanted to do something that had a more human element. I took a month long trip around Europe right before I started my last marketing position and I fell in love with the, with the people, the culture, the buildings and just really the way of life in Europe. I went to I think 11 different countries and one of my favorite, favorite cities when I was here was Prague. It just looked like something out of a fairy tale. When talking to my sister, one of my best friends, about what I could do and how I could move to Europe, she suggested teaching online. But I thought, I'm not a teacher, I do marketing. How will that help me? But when I look back on my life and thought about the things I really loved and enjoyed doing, I realized that the things I found the most fulfilling were anything that involved an aspect of helping others, and I did have some experience in tutoring. I reached out to the International TEFL Academy and spoke with Helen, the admissions advisor. After our conversation, I felt confident that while I might not have all the answers in this moment, ITA would have my back and help me answer those questions along the way. 
After living and teaching abroad for the past nine months, I can confidently say that this was the best decision that I have ever made. I absolutely love teaching, and next year I'm going to pursue a Montessori education to teach younger children. My current lesson schedule involves teaching a lot of kids as well as a lot of adults. This was very helpful for me because I gained a lot of experience, and it's how I found out I love teaching kids. Here's a sneak peek of my current work schedule. I hope you enjoy seeing my classrooms. We are about to teach our last class of the day and then go meet up with some of my ITA alumni friends back in Prague. See you there.